Hi everyone. So today I want to share one of my favorite artist sketchbooks with you. Je suis la cahier, which are the sketchbooks of Picasso. And it's a really wonderful book. It it shows um, six of his um, sketchbooks and also a collection of his other artworks that weren't included in sketchbooks, but collected from family members and his studios, um, mostly preliminary sketches for paintings and other works and gathered. Each major section of this book um, has an essay by a noted historian and um, it's just a really beautiful book. It's really well done and uh, it's the definitive collection of his sketchbooks. Um, I can't wait to get started going through it with you and showing you all the beautiful artwork inside of it. Um, it really is um, a, an interesting way to look at each period of his artwork. Um, so I will meet you inside and we'll get started going through it. So here we are, Je suis la cahier. And um, in the foreword, it explains that that means I am the sketchbook. And um, he was so very connected to the work he did in his sketchbooks that they really were a part of him and they acted really like diaries as well and a lot of um the artist sketchbooks that we see um they write their daily notes and things like that and appointments as well as doing their artwork into the sketchbooks so um yeah they're just like such a part of their lives they carry them places and um so each of the six sketchbooks has an essay written by a famous art critic. And also there is one by Francois Guillot, which was his um, muse and model and the mother of his son, Claude um, Picasso. And so... Um, those are very interesting and in the essays they go over a lot of the images and there's a lot of commentary about the work done in each of the sketchbooks by these art critics. This is really considered to be a definitive volume and these are very well-known critics that write um, the chapters um, before each sketchbook. So the sketchbooks are laid out um, chronologically. So in the early part of the books, you'll see more of his early work and then they follow as he um, goes through his different style and how his style develops into the more modern um, artist that he becomes and into his um, cubist days and just more uh, into abstraction and it's really interesting to see how his style develops over the years so um, yeah it's really interesting and each section as I said is um, prefaced by um, just really interesting uh, notes um, by these art critics. So it's, it's a very interesting book. And this first sketchbook is um, called The Salt and Bonk Sketchbook. 1905, and here are the images.
as with other artists, his sketchbooks also served as a diary. The second sketchbook, The Damoiselle, um, it's 1907. This is Robert Rosenblum discussing. This next cross, um, this next sketchbook, Picasso at the Crossroads, 1916, and it is discussed by Theodore Bell. Excuse me, Theodore Reff. The next sketchbook, Life with Picasso, 1926, Rosalind Krauss. The next sketchbook, Picasso at War, Royan, 1940, by Sam Hunter.
the Sabines sketchbook. Um, this is 1962. Um, notes by Gert Schiff. The back of this book is selections from um, other sketchbooks. Um, and then we have a section by Francois Guillaume, who was um, his longtime um, lover and the, father, the mother of his child, and a longtime model and muse for Picasso.
Thanks for being here and I'll see you again soon.